Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain channel capacity by Shannon Hartley. Not only that, I will also derive equation of channel capacity by Shannon Hartley. And at last, I will derive equation of maximum channel capacity. So first of all, let me explain the equation of channel capacity by Shannon Hartley. See, channel capacity C is equals to B log of base 2 1 plus signal to noise ratio. Here B is bandwidth of the channel. Here S is signal power and N is noise power. I have seen students are doing mistake when they calculate examples using this equation. Usually they consider log of 1 plus signal to noise ratio and they forget base 2. So this is what you need to take care of when you solve problem using this equation. Always remember channel capacity C is B log of base 2 1 plus signal to noise ratio. Do not forget base 2. Right. Otherwise there will be false answer. Now I will derive this equation. To derive this equation, first of all one should know when you receive the signal. At that time you will be receiving signal power as well as noise power. Right. So as and when you receive the signal at that time you will be receiving signal power plus noise power. Signal power is S and noise power is N. If you calculate mean square value of this, then mean square value of received signal that will be square root of S plus N. Here N is noise power and mean square value of noise power is square root of N. Now you need to understand how many levels can be detected without error. So if I say we have m number of levels that can be detected without error, then that will be received signal mean square value divided by mean square value of noise. So m that is number of levels can be separated without error. That will be mean square value of received signal divided by mean square value of noise. Now using this number of levels, one can understand information. In my earlier videos, I have explained you information. See information i that is log of base 2 m. Now if I substitute m that is square root of 1 plus signal to noise ratio. Then we will be having this equation. And one thing that one should know. See 1 plus signal to noise ratio raised to half that is there with us. So if you have log of x to the power y, then you can take y in front. So here this square root means here power is half. So that half that we can take it in front. So let me take it in front. So now we have information equation that is half of log of base 2 1 plus signal to noise ratio. Right. Now using this information equation, I will derive Shannon capacity equation for that you need to understand how many samples that we are transmitting. See if I say we have k number of samples per second that we are transmitting then channel capacity C that will be k into i where i is information and this information that is there based on number of levels separated without error. Right. So here i is half of log of base 2 1 plus signal to noise ratio, right. So let us substitute that over here. So we will be having channel capacity that is k by 2 log of base 2 1 plus signal to noise ratio where k is number of samples per second. As per Nyquist theorem, one can understand Nyquist bandwidth. See Nyquist bandwidth k is equals to 2b. And that is the maximum possible transmitted samples that one can have, right. So if I say k is equals to 2v over here, then we will be having channel capacity equation that is c is equals to b log of base to 1 plus signal to noise ratio. So this is the equation which is there as per channel capacity by Shannon Hartley, right. So sometimes students are asking me, sir, as if we have channel capacity C that is B log of base to 1 plus signal to noise ratio and 
if we have infinite possible bandwidth like for wireless communication one can transmit any frequency right so one can say for wireless communication we have infinite possible bandwidth so in that case we will be having infinite channel capacity but answer is no one cannot have infinite channel capacity the reason is along with the frequency you will be receiving noise see if you increase the bandwidth then noise will also increase because of which capacity of channel cannot be infinite let me explain that see here if i say we have a graph of power with respect to frequency then there will be always uniform noise one can say gaussian noise right and if you have larger bandwidth then you will be receiving more noise even let us consider we have a bandwidth b then inside this bandwidth you will be receiving this much amount of noise but if you increase the bandwidth then you will be increasing noise as well due to which one cannot have infinite channel capacity right now to understand what will be the limit of channel capacity you need to understand how much noise that we are receiving let us assume here with this noise we have noise power density n not so if you have n not that is noise power density then what will be noise power noise power that will be n not into b the reason is here this much amount of power that we will be receiving if you have noise power density then noise power density into bandwidth that will be total noise power that we receive now what i'll do is i'll be placing this noise power which we are receiving inside this channel capacity equation right so now we will be having channel capacity that will be c is equals to b log of base 2 1 plus s divided by n where n is n not into b right now let me simplify this equation further see to simplify this now what i'll do is i'll multiply n not over here and i will divide s the reason is here along with b n not is multiplied and s is divided with b so that adjustment that i'll do over here you can observe along with b i have multiplied n not and divided s so but obviously here i need to multiply s and divide n not why i am doing this adjustment the reason is you need to understand mathematics behind this see if you have limit x tends to 0 1 by x log of base 2 1 plus x then this limit that will be log of base 2 e and its value is 1.44 and to have this adjustment over here with b i am multiplying n naught and dividing s so here if you say this is x right then this will be 1 by x right so here if you say this x is s divided by n naught b then here we will be having 1 by x here we are saying that if we have infinite bandwidth if you have infinite bandwidth then here bandwidth is there in denominator then x will go towards 0 so if you take limit for this term then this much term that will be having resultant that is 1.44 so maximum channel capacity that will be 1.44 into s divided by n naught where n naught is noise power density right so this is how one can understand maximum capacity of channel that is 1.44 into s divided by n naught and if you want to understand channel capacity based on signal to noise ratio then that will be b into log of base to 1 plus signal to noise ratio so these two equations are very essential using that in future coming videos i'll be solving examples that will result into more understanding still if you have any confusion just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video